Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics. I am here with the amazing Fanny Josephine and we are going to learn some hand balancing and I'm going to teach her the express handstand. So elbows on knees, gripping the floor with your fingertips, rock yourself forwards and see if you can balance. Just keep pushing the floor down nice and hard. Good, let's go again. So just for the purposes for you guys, just check out here. She's done a really good job of keeping those hips nice and high. So try and hold that position there if I try and keep weight forward. That's the one, yeah, yeah. Perfect. So yeah, look at the position there from the hip on top of the elbow, on top of the wrist. Really great alignment and that creates a nice stable shape. Have a rest. Perfect. But you've got a really nice little foundation there to build from. So if we can get the frog stand nailed down, that means that we can start to stack other movements on top of that. So ultimately, what you might want to be able to do is go from a frog stand and then press out, and then we can go from here into a handstand. But we're going to jump a step up and see if we can just go straight into the handstand without having to press out, because the strength takes some time, right, to develop. So your next one then, let's have a look at uh, whether we can go one leg off and then one leg back on. So hand balance, leg off, leg back on. Good, yes, nice. Yeah, that's it. Here? Yeah, and then, so if you just go into your frog stand, I'll put the ball behind your foot, it's fine. Good, yeah, that's the one. That's it, good. So the trick there is the ball's just helping to keep the hip nice and high, and then you can start to feel that position of just where the body needs to be. And there's just a little bit of like specific strength that you need to develop in there because it's, it's, it's around the shoulder's ability just to be able to stay strong and then keep the hips stacked up nice and high. As soon as they come down, the shoulder loses its advantage position in terms of where the body mass is, and then you just find out with your feet back on the floor. Let's go headstand, because I reckon that's a strong one for you. It looks like you're pretty comfortable with the head on the ground. So you can kick into it however you want. We would normally kind of go frog stand, head on the ground, knees up, then nice and straight at the top. Good, I got you. Hold that shape. There you go, good. Right, now try and straighten the legs, Fanny, I've got you. Good, and the other one. Tummy nice and tight. Squeeze your abs. There you go, head standing. Very nice. Okay, have a relax. And get a high five for that one. That was good. Position. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try and see if we can go straight arms. So ultimately, for you to get into a handstand today, what I want you to try and do is go from a straight arm position and then just kick into shape. And if we can create a stable base in that chair position, which is just like what you did with your, with your headstand, but with the arms supporting the body, if we get a nice stable position there, then it's really easy just to straighten the legs. But that first setting point is the, gonna be the foundation for the rest of the movement. So we're gonna practice with the wall for some support. Nice and tucked, just push yourself up and just try and get your bum on the wall. In a okay, there's the wall. Try and hold your feet against the wall. Now we're handstanding. Perfect. Okay, come back down. See if you can, and then when you get up there, what I want you to think about doing is making yourself nice and long. So it's quite easy to kind of fall into a bit of like a slumped shape. Like you kind of, rather than feeling like, when I get up there, I'm kind of like arched or like wobbly. Try and think about arrow straight, nice and long. So push your hands down, feet up the wall, and then just try and make yourself as straight and strong as you can. You want to be like an arrow. Good. Okay, straight and strong like an arrow. Push up nice, try and get your feet as high up the wall as you can. Good. Tummy super tight, squeezing strong in here. Good. All right, nice, Let's have a rest. You need to have a think about is you want to keep your shoulders here and that's normal like the brain is kind of thinking this is much more stable for the shoulders so when you go into this position you've got to get comfortable with just going a little bit hands over head a little bit more rather than being here it's just it, it, the shoulder likes this because it's it's not quite as a, such a end of range position if you do a lot of pull-ups like 1111 that's going to be bad for your shoulders pulls you in here so just think about trying to get up nice and tall so i show you that one again all you're going to do is have this same thing, but you, this time you can go from two, but just keep to stay in a little ball. Small objects rotate faster. So rather than thinking you're gonna kick your legs out, just keep your feet close tucked into your bum. So from here, 
and just hold. That's all I've got to do. Okay, so we're gonna let's just try and go. We'll, we'll, we'll shorten the lever from the top position. So if we're comfortable getting the feet up in a straight body line against the wall, then we're just gonna put our hips against the wall and bring the bum, the, the feet down, just to try and create that tuck position. So I'm gonna set myself up. I'm gonna progressively just find that kick position, get a little bit higher, find the wall, and then from here, just rest your bum on the wall and then bring the knees down. Okay, just keep pushing hard with the hands. I'm gonna spot you through this. Good, ball on the wall. So bend your hips, that's it, now bring your knees down. I've got you, I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. <laughs> Confidence, Frank, I'm gonna... So go legs up against the wall. Good. Okay, watch the look at the floor. Okay, now bend your hips and stick your bum on the wall. That's it, good. Now bend your, bring your knees down. Perfect, that's the one. Good job. So hands against on the floor, kick up. Get nice and long position, and then if I start looking at my fingertips, if I just start gripping, I can actually pull myself all the way down. I'm not doing anything else apart from just trying to squeeze the floor, and it pulls me back down. All right, let's give it a go. Good. All right, so make yourself comfortable. That's it. Now really squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. All right, okay, so let's try, um, we'll start off, you're gonna go frog stand, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come, I'm gonna put my hands just up between your hips in here, and I'm just gonna lift you up into that position, so I'm gonna get you to feel comfortable in that position. So when I, um, when you're gonna frog stand, all I want you to do is just push, and I'm gonna help you lift up into that position, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, you ready? So three, two, one, push, Good, I've got you. Right, now use your fingers, tummy nice and tight. And all I'm gonna do then, just keep concentrating, watch the floor, fan I got you, I got you, I got you. Squeeze your bum. Good, come back down, that was it. There was a split second there where you had it. We're gonna do that again. I can't like it, I can't like it. Yeah, because probably for you where it feels like you are, is maybe like way over the top, but actually then you were really straight. Head, tummy, super tight. Imagine I'm gonna get that hammer. I'm trying to do like this, my uh, yeah. shoulders are coming. They linked. So this, so that's why we need range of movement and then tummy. Yeah. So just think about lots of tummy. Yeah. Straight and strong. Let's go. Good, all right, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one second. Totally high five. Yeah, but that's where it starts. Okay, last one. Ready? Let's go. Okay, tummy tight. Make yourself strong, straight and strong. Okay, keep going. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. I got you. I got you. I got you. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Legs straight. <laughs> Good. So we got, that was good in that we were getting lower down and then you were starting to make corrections yeah. in your feet. So you're like well on the way now to starting. I think what you've done today was a massive positive is you've got better awareness of where your body's in space when you're upside down, which yeah. is like the key to handstanding. If you can understand where your feet are in relation to your head, then you can start to make the corrections. It's when people don't, don't have that awareness that it becomes really difficult because they, they just don't know where the small corrections are they need to make. So I think you made some good progress today. So your take homes, homework from us, you can practice that frog stand, with see if you can, with the ball, and see if you can build up to take yeah, them one leg on, one leg off. And then um, you can go against the wall, get, get really confident with kicking up yeah. so that you can hold that position. Yeah. When you can feel that you get confident kicking up, I want you to practice those, that fingertips of pulling yourself off and then back on. Don't pull so hard that you come all the way down. Just pull a little bit yeah. and then let your feet go back against the wall. Pull a little bit and back because that's the correction you need yeah. to make. Lots of shoulder mobility. And then you can practice the, the, the kind of the take home for you at this stage and we can give you some more lessons later is to then see if you can do the kick up with the, with the hips tucked in. Yeah. So that our last one of sit up yeah. against the wall. Can we then get, can we practice just that position? And then sooner or later, you're going to build the strength overhead to be able to catch it. And then when you can, when you can do this and use the fingers, the next job of straightening the legs yeah. is easy. 
All right? Yep. So that is handstand lesson. Fanny Joe's been doing some awesome work today. It's not an easy process to learn to handstand. It takes time, so you need to give yourself a, a decent run at this. As we were talking about short sessions, little bits on a regular basis, but like, it's one of the most frustrating things whilst you're learning it. But sooner or later, you're gonna to start to feel those things connect together, and then you're gonna to start to really see some progress. But it takes time, stick with the process, practice regularly. And before long, the handstand is gonna be out of the impossible box, and you are gonna have redefined your impossible, just like Fanny is gonna do in how long? Six months? Yeah. Six months. So until next time, class dismissed.